Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Stanley with Stanley Handcrafted and I am back after a week-long vacation. Uh, now I tried to make a bunch of videos to release before I left that would actually release as I was on vacation but ended up getting busy. So I ended up having a week with like no video upload. So I apologize for that. I've got a lot of stuff planned, especially going through December. There's a ton of stuff. I've got a bunch of waxes, a bunch of new jars, and definitely just a bunch of oils and topics to talk about. But even though I was on vacation, I still paid attention to the Facebook groups, uh, the sales that were coming in and stuff like that so that I can manage those and one of the things that popped up in the DIY Facebook group is something that's come up in the past and it's definitely come up within the last week and that is celebrities launching candles now this was definitely a hot topic along with the fact that Bath and Body Works was having their annual sale that they do every holiday season so of course the DIY Facebook group was blowing up left and right with talks about candle businesses going downhill uh, celebrities taking away their candle business basically the same thing that comes up every time these sales or somebody launches a new candle line and that's exactly what I wanted to talk about as soon as I got back from vacation was kind of touch on this topic. Now this is definitely nothing new. Celebrities launching candle lines or jewelry or makeup or anything like that. It's just one of those things that happen. As somebody gains notoriety, fame or anything like that, they're going to release different products on things that they like. This time it happens to be candles, which is our industry. Now the two people that released candle lines within the last week are Alicia Keys and Drake. And a lot of people are kind of up in arms about this one. And it's easy to see why. Uh, when you're going through, you're making candles, you spend a lot of time, money, effort you're really putting yourself out there and when you see somebody come along who doesn't know anything about the industry and they just put their name on the side of a candle it's easy to think that something like that can cut into your sales and this is what I want to talk about today is stuff like that should not matter one bit now obviously Alicia Keys Drake uh, people like that uh, a year or so ago Gwyneth Paltrow releasing her candles Casey Musgraves released a candle pretty much anybody uh, kind of watching this channel uh, figuring out how to make candles everybody in the DIY Facebook group so it's easy to think that something like this is just gonna overshadow your business, your candles, uh, and any future sales for you. And I'm here to say that's absolutely false. Just because somebody releases a candle line definitely does not mean that you're going to lose business. And it's definitely one of those mindset things that I've talked about in the group and in videos here. Uh, and it's a mindset that I want to help try and kind of fix and get rid of for a lot of people watching this definitely people in the DIY Facebook group and just people who are small business entrepreneurs in general I've said it before in videos there is so much opportunity out there that one more person coming in does not take away sales from you that's definitely not how this works especially in a candle line like this and the main reason why this is not going to affect you as a small business or a small candle maker is they're targeting a much different audience. Drake's fans, Alicia Keys fans, they're going to run to their candles and get their candles. These are not necessarily your target audience. Uh, they will most likely be releasing candles in a much higher price point than a lot of people watching this candle and definitely a lot of people in the candle group uh, will be releasing or selling their candles for. And their customers are probably not going to the farmer's markets that I'm at, that you're at. And this is one of those things where I try to steer people away from letting it affect them too much. The other the reason I try to tell people not to think too much in this one is when you got into the candle business anybody that's watching this channel that's following me that's making candles DIY group farmers markets or anything like that you were already up against some of the biggest candle manufacturers in the world Yankee Candle being number one and this is one of the comments I made in one of the posts in the group is if you came into this and you're not worried about Yankee Candle, why would you be worried about Drake or Alicia Keys? Outside of the fact that they're going to get automatic easy sales because of who they are. But like I was saying earlier, they there are two different markets. Uh, me, when I take my eight ounce jelly jars, uh, the candles that I take to farmer's markets, they are a much different candle than something like the candles that Alicia Keys or Drake is potentially gonna release. The other reason why this isn't something to really stress about is if you go back through history and you start to look at anybody making clothes, jewelry, makeup, anything like that, outside of a few exceptions, most people release these things for a year or two, a couple months or a couple years, and then they drop off and they're not making them anymore. I know over the years there have been a ton of people that I follow music wise, movie wise, anything like that, that have released products and after a little while they just don't make those anymore because that's not where their main focus is. Now that isn't to say that Drake or Alicia Keys uh, wouldn't have a candle line that's going to be very successful and it goes on, uh, but honestly I would assume that they're going to be out and they're not going to be making those candles within a couple months to a couple years. The other reason why I don't stress about this one too much is 
you can look at this from a, a better perspective. Uh, the one thing that this is going to do is it's gonna bring new customers who may not necessarily look at candles or go after candles into the market. So Drake's fans, Alicia Keys fans, Gwyneth Paltrow or anything like that, uh, they're gonna have automatic sales. People who have never bought candles before are gonna buy their candles because they're such a big fan of this person. And what that does is it could create potential future customers for you and I, because once they get that candle, you never know if somebody's actually going to really like candles and then they start to venture out from there, which means they're going to be searching all over the place and potentially stumble across your candles. And this is again where I tell people to hustle your ass off because obviously they're gonna make quick sales because of who they are. Uh, somebody like me or you watching this making candles is you're gonna be working a lot harder to get your candles put in front of a lot more eyes. And that's why I always tell people to get your candles in local stores, get your candles on Etsy, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, anything like that, so that when people go and they start searching for candles, you have a better chance of popping up in all those mediums. But again, that's the hard part about this, putting yourself out there, posting your candles on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Like I said, putting that stuff out there every single day is a lot of hard work that honestly, a lot of people aren't gonna do. And that's why the people that do get behind and kind of put that hustle and effort into this will definitely see the most benefit from this. And it's also the people who really aren't as stressed as somebody like Drake and Alicia Keys coming into the business, what some may think as potentially taking sales away from you. And the biggest point I wanna make in this one, and it's something that really goes overlooked, is the missed opportunities here. And I and I made a comment on the post uh, about the Drake candles, and this is, the biggest opportunity here is somebody, somebody pointed out that Drake and Alicia Keys aren't even making their own candles. That's part of the reason why they were upset. Again, I mean, it, it really doesn't matter who's making their candles, if they're making them, or if they're going to, a, or if they're going to a company, which most likely they're definitely going to a company. And this is the missed opportunity that I want to point out to a lot of people is a company is making those candles for them. They're doing private label candles for Drake and Alicia Keys. Drake is not sitting in his kitchen watching videos and learning to make candles and then putting them on Etsy. He went to a company like you and I and he requested private label candles. And this is where Again, you and I should be reaching out to different companies, different celebrities. It doesn't have to be huge celebrities because obviously pulling somebody like Drake or Alicia Keys is gonna be a, a million and one. Uh, but there are definitely a lot of mid-level to low-level, and I hate to even say that, but celebrities that you can actually reach out to. Uh, there are small YouTubers who have uh, a couple hundred thousand to uh, even a million following who would be more than happy to listen to you about making a private label candle for them. And that's definitely what I would tell people. Instead of instead of worrying about these guys taking sales from you, I would definitely reach out there and find out if you're doing private label. If you're just doing your own candles, then just hustle your ass off and make candles, put them out there, uh, and continue to make sales. But if you are a company that is doing private label, I would message absolutely everybody that you can think of and actually turn around and be that company that releases or makes the candles for that next celebrity that releases candles. So that's pretty much it with this one. It's been a long week. I was on vacation. I just wanted to hurry up, get back in here, make this video because it was the first thing that was on my mind going through the group this last week. I have a ton of videos coming up. Uh, like I said, new waxes, new jars, uh, a lot of topics that I haven't been able to get to. But now that Christmas, but now that the holidays are here, I'm trying to ramp these up. I've got a ton of oil reviews coming up. So if there is something you want to see, vessels, wicks, uh, I definitely have a wood wick video coming up very soon. Uh, just basic Q and A's. If you want to see anything, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll try to get on that video. And of course, you can follow me on any of the social media platforms that I've listed down below, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, my website, uh, the phone number, which is 253-303-7968 if you want to reach out and text any questions. And I was, it's getting a little harder to respond back to the text messages. So if you don't get a message back immediately, uh, if it's something that you need urgently, please email me also because I check the email more for like orders and stuff like that. But if it's just basic questions, Definitely hold on. I'm going through try to answer those as quick as possible. And of course, for those that are here wanting to make candles, I have a whole line of eBooks on the website that tell you exactly step by step, full color directions on how to make candles using a bunch of different waxes. I've got books for Soli 464, 6006, Joy Wax, Coconut Wax, Apricot Wax. So definitely jump over there, take a look at those. And of course, hit the thumbs up button because it helps with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel and thank you for watching.